Aubrey, give me uh, your, I mean, thoughts on the year. Your, your first year as a full-time starter, how's it gone for you? Has it been what you thought? Um, I've been progressing every game as a whole team. Obviously, the way our record sits, we're not happy where we at. Um, we're proud that we got to build a bond together for Team 130. Uh, we just want to create this last memory together, go out and get a win this Saturday, um, and just cherish these moments that we got. What have you learned, I mean, individually, about, about the game? Uh, the biggest thing I learned is that the more you watch film and understand your opponent, the game will slow down for you. Um, that's one thing I worked on going in week in and week out, um, watching film a lot more. Um, and that really helped. As you can see, I've made more plays than I usually have. Um, towards the beginning of the season. And that just helped a whole defense play faster. And then knowing the playbook in and out, like as far as if you know what the other position's doing, then you know if somebody's blitzing, then somebody got to replace the blitzer. So knowing your pieces out on the field will help you play faster. And that's what really helped me, knowing the defense better and then watching more film helping me understand my opponent. You were hurt last year, but you did get to play. Did that, did that experience, game experience help you? <laughs> coming into this year, or was it too short to, to have a big effect? My freshman year, I didn't really – I played in some games, but um, the game that I played in that was close was only Iowa State, um, Baylor. Um, we didn't do too well in the first half last year against Baylor, and that game got out of hand really quick. So we was running basic um, calls when I got in as far as keeping it um, real simple. But it helped a little bit as far as just knowing, like, the speed and how fast it goes. And then just knowing like how fast you got to be as far as playing safety, um, coming up, filling runs, or playing in the coverage. Just the speed overall, that really helped knowing that what I had to deal with this year, going into this year, helped with last year. Did it surprise you there was so much off the field love for you that had to be done? I mean, it surprised me um, because last year, Alonzo and Don show my home. Them two guys really helped me. Uh, I was a young guy on the defense. Um, so they were like, they brought me into their wings. It was like, bro, we can't have no slack. Like, we need you to come in and be ready and be prepared. So um, the way they, they studied the game off the field was really good, and I, I learned from them, them two. I really thank them for um, what they've done for me so far in my career. Um, just them two helping me understand how to um, watch film, how to take notes of meetings, um, little tendencies that team may have, just things like that. They really helped me a lot. into and then now I mean after a full year under your belt uh, playing you have you have to believe now that you can that you've proven to yourself that you can play right um honestly the first like the game going into Pittsburgh when I'm playing Pitt man I'm nervous the whole week um knowing that I'm starting as a sophomore I'm a young guy we're about to go play in front of 100,000. Um, we've got to represent this state to the, the best of my ability. So that, that first game, I was really nervous. And as every game like came along, I kind of got comfortable and just settled down and just told myself, like, you're just playing football at a bigger stage. It's a lot more people watching. So just calm down when you out there and just play football like what you've been doing since the age of four. So like as time, as games came along, I really settled down and just kept my nerves calm. Um, and that, you know, the first game playing in front of 100,000 to now, that really, that really helped me out as far as just being calm in front of a lot of people and just knowing that at the end of the day, you just got to play football. You seem to come downhill pretty well. Has that physicality always been there with you? Is it something you developed over time? Uh, um, so my high school coach, his name is Ricardo Singh. Uh, he played at Western Kentucky. So going into my high school career, I really wanted to play receiver. Um, my freshman year going into summer, I, I was like, Coach, I want to play receiver. Like, that's what I, I, I'm used to scoring touchdowns. I'm not sure how to hit somebody. Um, and so at practice, every day in high school, we, we do hitting drills. I'm talking about from the beginning of the first practice to the last practice we had at, at the end of the season. And he really helped me understand, like, he, he, he told me, like, when you get in college, the backs are 215, 220, and you got to come with everything you got. So just when, you, when I'm out there, I got to tell myself, like, play fearless. Like, worst case scenario, you stop momentum when you come downhill fast. And then you always don't want to be – you don't want to be the nail. You want to be the hammer. So me triggering fast allows me to be the hammer at times and, and make big-time plays and big-time tackles like that. Is 
safety is that hard because if you come downhill on the wrong one, somebody's going over top of you. So how do you make that decision? Um, Really, I, I would say, like, with me, I make the decision as far as going low or, or somebody jumping over top of me, depending on, like, the like how they're running. A lot of backs sometimes, if they see you overrunning the play, they'll cut your hip and cut back on you. So you really just got to see how the back is running. If he's running downhill, like, uh, as far as down a distance 31, he knows he got to get the first down. And that's when you know he's probably coming with everything he got. If it's a first and ten type of call, then he's probably going to try to make you miss to get some extra yards. So you just got to understand that you know how how the game, how he's running the ball, and then the down and distance and everything like that. Even though you know you're not playing for bowl eligibility, there's still a lot to play for this week, especially for the younger players. I'm just wondering. I mean, is that your mindset going in? You know, what, how do you kind of feel going into this last game? Oh, honestly, I just want to um, let the seniors go out with a bang. Um, coach Mike, our screen coach, was like, why not be the, um, the first team in history to beat Oklahoma and Oklahoma State in the same season? So our, our mindset is still the same every week. We're going, going in today practice, working hard, trying to win this game Saturday. That's the only thing on our mind. We're not worried about nothing else, just trying to win, get another win for us. And then the young guys, they know that their opportunity um, is now, like they can come in and step up. Play some defense, play on special teams a lot. Um, Coach Brown said we'll be traveling with a lot more this week. So it's plenty of opportunities for a lot of guys to step up this week and make some plays. How good are the other young defensive backs around you? I mean, you guys want to improve next year. Do you have the talent to do that? Yeah, yes, sir. We do have the talent. Um, Christian Stokes is a young guy. Um, Riley Collins is another young guy. Them two guys are um, they're really good athletes. Um, their time is now. Like, they can show that this week. Uh, having a good week at practice. They've been on scout team. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to see them. But I know in the, I know this in the summer, Christian Stokes coming off an injury. He's been working really hard to get back where he at. Same as Raleigh Collins. Um, he works real hard. So we have some young guys who can come in and be ready to play. Um, same in the corners room. Jacoby Spells is another young guy who's ready to play. Um, he showed Virginia Tech when he caught an interception. That was a big time play for us. Um, but we have young guys who are good athletes and are ready to come in and play this week. One more for me. So, Florida kid coming to West Virginia. What's what's the adjustment been like? Uh, you know, just just in terms of weather, culture, town's um, different. Uh, the biggest thing is the weather. I would say, being from Florida, um, I don't like the cold. I like when the sun is out. So, at times like this, it's pretty hard for me. I gotta have a big coat. Um, another adjustment. Um, it's a small town. Been from Florida. You know, it's a um, Big big state, a lot of people come there for vacation. But one thing I like about here is that it's been so small is that everybody loves you. Um, they show love to you. They'll always, you know, be on your side whether things are going right or going wrong. And then you plan for a great state. Um, and that's what I like about here. But the biggest thing for me was the cold. Um, as far as just being prepared for college, I would say my sister helped me out a lot with that. Just coming in, just telling telling yourself time management is your um, biggest friend. Just making sure your time management, you handling that correctly. But other than that, yeah, the code, that's probably getting to me the most. Okay, thank you. Thank you.